since it's weekend i want to do something different today and that's basically showing you my weed kit because yeah most of you know i smoke joints from time to time i'm a stoner um <laughs> so in the last uh, year i have gotten some stuff together i got everything complete please let me know if i miss something just down in the comments or if you have some suggestions let's just go through it while i will roll myself a joint uh, because for the video of tomorrow i will do my three favorite uh, club strains and yeah that would be nice then it's sunday and here in berlin we go clubbing on sunday not now but still to celebrate so at first, uh, the weed itself, uh, Indian Kush, yeah, uh, gladly, uh, my uh, my dealer here um, is able to, to, to get me some nice strains. Uh, besides for smoking at home, I like uh, Kushes because, yeah, they're a bit more relaxed. They don't make you that high, that sound out, and you can still, yeah, do your, do your thing. The weed, then we go on to the tobacco uh, I use paper tobacco if I say that wrong sorry uh, again shout at me that's okay this uh, is the lightest one it is uh, um, it might be sometimes a bit dry if you're used to like smoking normal cigarettes I understand that uh, but to <laughs> try to at least uh, use some some healthy tobacco uh, I use this I can, for example, not use uh, Damiana or something because, like, I have hay fever, and if I use that, like, yeah, uh, nature hates me, uh, <laughs> so that's why I use this one. Of course, the grinder. I just ordered this. It's like a three compartment uh, thing. So at first you put it in here, um, then of course the wheat, and then at the lowest part you still have like a pollen collector and that's basically the moment uh, that you're that you're really without weed <laughs> and you still want to make a joint then you use that um, I yeah I never really like those joints but still I think everyone knows uh, that moment when you're out of weed and you still want to make something because you want to sleep <laughs> Then I use the Ose Bay uh, rolls. They're like five meter rolls. This is just a slim one, the premium one, but like it's nice to have. You can just make your own little uh, little joint. So for now, I will just get a paper out and then you can just rip it off here. Um, you can also get those booklets. Uh, yeah, this is just a, a bit more efficient. <laughs> then in the meanwhile, while I do this, if you get them in the booklets, this is already done, but yeah, it's not that hard. You just have to check because sometimes I forget that like which side it is. It depends a bit on the brand. Uh, some have them, have them the other way around and then I'm super confused and then I roll my joint and then while smoking it, I all of a sudden notice, uh oh, this is like Titanic joint. That's not going to happen. So, yeah, check at least. Uh, might be a bit of a challenge when you're doing this in a club uh, on the dance floor, but it's doable. <laughs> I have two things here. I have the tips. I have the, the paper ones, very healthy ones. Uh, the active uh, tubes. These are the slim ones. If you get them bigger ones, they are oh, horrible. Uh, but these slim ones, they are nice to use. Uh, although I rather use them uh, in clubs. Uh, at home, um, yeah, also this after a while it gets a bit dry and then especially with this tobacco it gets too dry and that's not really nice to smoke. Uh, so for now we're gonna use uh, these ones, yeah, the paper ones. Uh, these are the most raw natural thing. Try to again think of our planet while we smoke. <laughs> um, and then you can do all kinds of things with this. I am these days super lazy, I don't care. I'm not gonna make an awesome W or whatever, or yeah, no, the only thing that I do is just, yeah, get it over or roll it over basically. And then I just roll through. 
I do this a few times to to roll it in. It doesn't really matter. Like I never really have the problem that it's too tight and that I can't smoke. So that's super easy. I always sort of do like a little ball at the beginning because I don't like to smoke my joints till the end. Oh yeah, and sorry for you from the other side of the ocean. I know this is gonna be a spliff. I don't care because I don't wanna be super stoned out. I still wanna do something. Like literally, I, I, I don't like to uh, smoke pure joints. Especially with the, with the wheat in the Netherlands. Like it's super potent. It's even a bit mushy. You can see the THC crystals. That's pretty nice, but yeah, smoking pure joints of that, uh, no way. A bit of the tobacco underneath, because that's already a bit loose and it makes it easy to mix. Put this a bit on the side, and then I already sort of crumble it a little bit. If it... Then I get the wheat. Uh, this is where, uh, yeah, I already grinded it. Like I can imagine that you know how to do this. Then, of course, some wheat. I'm happy with the uh, wheat here in Berlin compared to the wheat in the Netherlands. Don't get me wrong, the, the wheat in the Netherlands is quality-wise way better or way more potent. I like to be uh, a bit chilled, but I don't necessarily have to be super stoned uh, or zoned out uh, the whole day because I want, still want to do something. Like making these videos. Mix it a little bit. And then just drop it in. Again, this is super chilled. This is a Bauunterlage. <laughs> As the Germans say it. Um, if you roll it like this, nothing uh, rolls out. Your table is clean. It doesn't get so messy. I remember in the beginning, like the first one and a half year, I didn't know how to roll myself. And then at one moment, uh, at one moment, at one point, <laughs> at one point, a friend of mine, uh, he was a bit done with uh, rolling my joints. So he taught me, thank you, Hendrik. If you ever watch this, then thank you for pressuring me to roll my own joints. Now I got pretty okay with it. Rolling it down, making a bit of a sausage of it. Then making it super easy by putting my uh, thumbnail over the paper so that it already slides in. That's what she said. Slid over uh, the tip. Push it a little bit. Put your, uh, um, yeah, put your other finger over it so that you can roll it in. And then it's just very simple. Eh. Oh, I make a bit of a mess of it. I should have put this here, but oh well. Mistakes happen. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> Lick it. I wonder how that's gonna look on camera. But if it makes me look ugly, then okay. Then I did that. <laughs> Ah, here. Hmm. Oh yeah, this is of course handy because uh, I use the clipper one, clipper lighter, because for most of you will probably know this and it's super handy, but you can pull the thing out and then like just push it in a little bit uh, because I already stuffed it in there anyways. Of course, like it's not the prettiest joint. I'm, uh, I'm guilty, but it's gonna work. Then I have a few other things still left. A uh, little, uh, little bag. Um, yeah, it's just easy to use for when I go clubbing or when I go to friends. Uh, it fits everything. It was handy, it was also handy for other things. But yeah, just a little, uh, little skill. It's a bit sad here because I would not walk around necessarily with this. Uh, with this box, but in the Netherlands, if I would go to the coffee shop, uh, Rijpelstilte is really the the most awesome coffee shop in the Netherlands. It's in Leeuwarden, in the the city where I used to study. As if you go back in the 40s, uh, it's super narrow, super cute, uh, super pretty. Uh, I will put a picture in uh, in here. I can also fit everything in here, 
and yeah it like it looks a bit fancy and i uh, i really like it uh, uh, like that i have this that's basically my weed kit that was also my video for now and then tomorrow um yeah a little video about my three favorite strains for clubbing a big hug much love and then i see you in the next one ciao ciao